How many of you have experienced Eastern medicine, acupuncture, herbal medicine, energy medicine, pendulums, anything related to energy? Yes. And Western medicine, if you've ever been vaccinated, seen a doctor, taken antibiotic, or have had surgery, you've experienced Western medicine. Well, East and West meets in our bodies. Energy medicine is about the Eastern philosophy, and the matter medicine is our Western philosophy. In the West, we don't believe in anything that we can't see or touch. Sometimes hear, we don't always hear those murmurs. Sometimes smell, we don't always smell things. Mostly it's what we can see and touch, the matter. But somewhere in the middle is where it meets. And if you've experienced any Eastern medicine, you know about the chakras. The chakras are those seven points in your body from root to crown. And those are exactly aligned with your endocrine glands. Those are where your hormones are produced. And that's where East meets West, in the chakras, in those seven endocrine glands. There's one other piece to this that we're going to look at in this, on this slide. And that is you'll notice there's a little, there's a little bit of energy in the, in the head part, the heart part, okay, and the tummy part. Those are your three brains, except it goes heart, gut, brain. That's the priority. Heart, gut, brain. And then we've got your immune system. And that's the little white blood cell floating all over the place. We're going to go into it a little more directly, but the neuroimmune endocrine system is where east meets west, where energy and matter interface. So I've developed a, a philosophy of healthcare I call the DMAR pyramid of health. DMAR is Deborah Margopoulos, but it's also MAR, the sea knowledge, fluid, water. And I feel very strongly that by using this pyramid, I can pretty much, much assess and diagnose anything. Everything comes on this pyramid. So one side of the pyramid is the physical form, our anatomy, our structure. Another side of the pyramid is our environment, the toxins we're taking in, the sunlight, the stress out there, and how it's interfacing with the energy and the matter in here. The third side of the pyramid is your belief systems. What do you believe? And we know that what you believe becomes. And the bottom is energy, just energy moving through the body, interfacing with all these sides. And the fourth side is the one we're going to talk about today. The fourth side is where the, what we call the hypothalamus is connected. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So imagine this, this triangle, this pyramid. And at the very top is where the neuroimmune endocrine system is. And the two cornerstones, we'll call them the instone and the outstone, where things come into the body and how things get out of the body, are at the foundation. The neuroimmune endocrine system is literally singing to your DNA. And your DNA is dancing accordingly. So. Did you all get my last autoresponder about dancing like Elaine on Seinfeld? <laughs> when you're not healthy, that's what it looks like from a genetic point of view, okay? When you're healthy, you're dancing to the rhythm of everything around you, and your body is just in this beautiful biochemical and physical dance. All right, so the neuroimmune endocrine system, it's an orchestra. These hormones, and I'm calling them all hormones, remember, neuro, neurological system produces neurotransmitters, not the classic hormone, but very important messengers. The immune system produces cytokines, tiny, tiny, tiny little messengers. And then the endocrine system produces all the hormones. The neuroimmune endocrine system sings. It literally sings to your DNA. And your DNA dances accordingly. Most of us reach a certain age, or we get really stressed out, that we need, we need to have a little hormonal help. We need a little support hormonally. Think of it as a computer network system. Think of this physical body as the hard drive, the physical computer. And the hormones are your software programs. And your master controller, your operating systems, which if you don't know computers is like the Windows operating system, is your hypothalamus. We're going to talk a lot about the hypothalamus in just a minute. 
Okay? So most of us, by the time we reach a certain age, need a software upgrade. We need to have our hormones tweaked a little bit or helped a little bit because we become hormonally challenged. We become hormonally incapable of functioning at the same high level we used to function at. And this was happening more and more to younger and younger people because of stress. And the major stressors have to do with diet, eating way too much sugar, becoming insulin resistant, and being malnourished. And it has to do with toxins, not getting rid of toxicity in the system. And it has to do with not sleeping in the dark. It is huge. If you could do one thing for yourself, if you take one thing home tonight, one thing, you must sleep in the complete darkness. Thank you.